Kando na dada muambie nywele yako iko sawa. <laughs> it's a blessing. Amen. Amen. I'm blessed to be here. Nimebarikiwa kuwa hapa. And God is with us. It's okay. Concentrate here. That, 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 those are expected things. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Tunashukuru neno la Bwana. God is faithful forevermore. Yeye ni mwaminifu kwa kila wakati and we are blessed of God. Na tumebarikiwa na Bwana. Amen. Amen. Good. We may have our seats. Tunaweza tukaketi. Thank you very much my bishop. Asante sana askofu for this opportunity. Kwa nafasi hii and to the I learned from Apostle Juma to the lady elect. Uh, kwa Juma, dada yeah, you were not there that day, sir. Si. <laughs> uh, we are teaching you. Amen. We were taught that we don't call the bishop's wife first lady. Hatuiti mke wa askofu first lady. Yes. Because I am a mke wa pastor. Uh -huh. uh, First lady in your politics. Okay. Eh, uh, after tonight, a lady elect. Lady elect. Yes. Amen. Uh, Mteule. Eh, uh, lady elect. Mwanadada mteule. You have tried. You're a good one. <laughs> <laughs> now you koko biblia. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> we bless the Lord. My family has sent their greetings to you. Jamii yangu imenituma salamu kwenu. They love you. Wanawapenda. They are doing they have been here all of them. Na wote wamekuwa hapa. But this week a lot of things are happening, a lot of meetings are happening. Hii wiki kuna mikutano mingi inaendelea. So I'm here they are somewhere. So niko hapa na wao wako kwingine. They are going somewhere again. Na wanafanya mambo mahali kwingine. In our family together we stand divided we run. Katika jamii yetu tunagawanya majukumu. And God is helping us. Na Mungu anatusaidia. Amen. Good. Can we turn to our theme scripture that is Isaiah 48 verse number 17. Tuende kwa somo letu Isaiah 48 mstari wake ni wa 17. And I will say I appreciate every minister that has sacrificed just to come and be part of this conference. It's a great privilege and God will reward you. Nina mpungeza kila mhuduma ambaya mepata na fasi ya kuhudulia kogamano hili. Nina fasi na mungu atawabaliki. Amen. Awe in Isaiah 48.17, Thus saith the Lord, you are redeemer. Asema hivi buwana mkobozi wenu. The Holy One of Israel. Mtakatifu wa Israeli. I am the Lord, you are God that teacheth you how to make. Okay. I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee how to make profit. And he says, he who leads you by the way ye should go. Mimi ni buwana mungu wenu abaye anawafudisha. Uh, jia ya kufanya faida na jia mutakayo ifuata. May God bless his word. Bwana alibaliki neno lake. We have been running with the theme no more guesswork. Tukona somo letu la hakuna kubahatisha. And God has helped us through various servants. Na mungu wa metu saidia kupitia watumishi wengi wa mungu. I can say I've been privileged to sit under the man of God, Apostle Juma. I've been privileged, yesterday I was privileged to sit under uh, Apostle Junior. Na jana pia, shini ya Apostle Junior. And I'm blessed, of course. Na na mungu. I have learned a lot, I have received from them, I can only be a better preacher. To the glory of God. Kwa utukufu wake bwana. We said one of the things that will make us not to guess work is the covenant. Tulisema jabo monja ambalo linatuondolea kubahatisha ni agano. And we agreed with the scriptures of God that Jesus is the mediator. That is uh, uh, the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24 to unto the mediator of the new 
covenant na tukajifundisha kutoka wa Hebrewia 12 mstari wa 24 ya kwamba Yesu Kristo amefanyika kuwa mpatanishi and the blood of sprinkling na kupitia ndamu iliyomwagika and he says the blood of Jesus speaks better things than that of Abel na damu yake Yesu inaongea mema kuliko ndamu ya Abel so we understood that the blood is speaking better things for us tunaelewa ya kwamba damu inanena mema kwetu so we have to be in tandem with the blood and speak better things kwa hivyo lazima tuikubali damu inenayo mema and we also speak better things for ourselves na hata sisi pia tuanena mema kwetu wenyewe because we are of the new covenant kwa sababu sisi ni wa agano jipya praise the name of the lord bwana yesu asifiwe that we should be thorough in the things of god tunafaa kuwa wamakinifu katika mambo ya mungu and one of the things that we learned is hebrews 10:19 ah tulisoma pia wa hebrewia 10 19. How do we access the presence of God? Tunaweza ingianje ama tunaweza pataje uwepo wa Bwana. Therefore brethren having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Na kwa hivyo uh, wapendwa tuna ujasiri wa kuingia patakatifu kupitia ndamu ya Yesu Kristo. That is giving us access. Ambayo inatupatia nafasi. And with that we have received na kwa hivyo tumepata ujasiri. So we are bold as members of the body of Christ. Tuko na ujasiri kama mwili wa Kristo. We are bold as preachers of the gospel. Tuko na ujasiri kama wahuduma wa ijiri. Today we have access to his throne room. Na leo tuko na ujasiri wa to get into his holy place. Kuingia katika patakatifu pake and things are working for us na mambo yanafanyika kwetu ah uh, the covenant brings with it kindness ah uh, agano linatembea na wema any time when the covenant is mentioned there is a lot of kindness wakati agano linatajwa kuna wema and that kindness must sure come to pass na huo wema lazima utakuja kuandia in the book of first uh second samuel chapter number 9 wa samueli wa pili wa samueli wa pili sura ya 9 verse number 1 mstari wake ni wa kwanza and david said is there anyone give me king james version thank you for the new king james is there anyone who is Uh, who ye is yet alive thank you uh, is there yet any that is left of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake na Daudi akauliza je kuna mmoja amembaki kwenye nyumba ya Sauli ni muonyeshe wema kwa sababu ya Jonathan verse number 3 mstari wa 3 he says and the king said na mfalme akasema Is there not yet any of the house of Saul that I may show the kindness of God unto him? Katika amembaki kwa nyumba ya Sauli ili nimuonyeshe wema wa Mungu. He was talking of kindness. Alikuwa ananena kuhusu wema. But now he is asking for the kindness of God. Na sasa anaongea kuhusu wema wa Mungu. We are in the book of 1 Samuel chapter number 20 Tuko Samueli wa kwanza sula ya 20 verse number 14 Mstari wake ni wa 14 A covenant is being cut and thou shalt not only while yet I live show me kindness of the Lord that I die not Ah uh, kama niko uhai nimeomba unionyeshe wema wa Mungu So they are cutting a covenant katika agano They are cutting a covenant. Wanaingia kwa maagano. But the major emphasis is kindness. Lakini kusistiza kwingi ni wema. In verse number 15, mstari wa 15, he saying, but also thou shalt not cut off thy kindness from my house forever. Na usiondoe wema wako katika nyumba yangu milele. 
not when the Lord hath cut off the enemies of David, everyone from the face of the earth. Sio wakati Mungu ameondoa wema wa Daudi kwa kila mtu hapa duniani. They are cutting a covenant. Wanaingia kwa maagano. But the emphasis from the first time of the covenant. Lakini kutoka wakati agano liliwekwa. Is kindness. Ni kuhusu wema. Show me kindness. Unionyeshe wema. There, this is a second covenant. Na hii ni agano la pili. Every covenant. Kila agano must have its root in kindness. Lazima iwe na mizizi yake iwe ni wema. Now he's saying don't only show me kindness but also to my family. Unasema usinionyeshe tu wema kwangu lakini hata kwa jamii yangu. So it is the speaking if you are in a covenant you must expect kindness. Inasema kama uko katika agano lazima utalajie wema. Our mind must be set on the kindness of God. Mawazo yetu lazima itulie katika wema wa Mungu. We are in the book of no verse number that's now we go back to first Samuel second Samuel chapter number 9 we see verse number 1 again then we go to verse number 3 verse number 1 David is asking is there yet anyone of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for the sake of Jonathan Daudi anauliza je kuna mmoja amembaki kwa nyumba ya Sauli nimuonyeshe wema kwa niamba ya Jonathan kwa sababu ya Jonathan Jonathan showed me kindness Jonathan alinionyesha wema He did not wait for me to rise Hakugojea mimi niinuke so that he can say he is my covenant brother Ili aseme huyu ni ndugu wangu wa maagano When I had nothing wakati nilikuwa sina chochote me into the covenant aliniingiza katika agano we need to recheck our covenants tunafaa kuziangalia maagano zetu it is not when i have sio wakati ninayo pick me when i don't have nichukue wakati sina pick me when i can't preach nichike nishike wakati nimekuja kuhubili bring me into your covenant niingize kwenye agano lako Allow me to sit at the table. Niluhusu nikae mezani. Where Jonathan allowed David to sit. Mahali Jonathan aliruhusu Daudi kukaa. He gave him his robe. Alimpatia vazi lake. When David could not afford. Ambapo Daudi hangeweza. He allowed him to sit at the table. Akamruhusu kuketi kwenye meza. Now that is covenant. Hiyo ni agano. Picking the weaker one. Unamchonya nyua aliyemdhaifu. Making them feel they deserve. Unawafa ukimfanya asikie kwamba anastahili. Of course the main picture that I'm drawing is what Jesus does for us. Ile picha ninajaribu kuleta ni ile Yesu alifanya kwetu. He picked us who are not qualified. Alituinua waliokuwa hawajahitimu. And made us to be qualified. Akatufanya tuwe waliohitimu. He has given us privilege. Ametupatia nafasi. By the covenant. Kupitia agano. He is showing us kindness. Anatuonyesha wema. So he is saying I want to show him kindness for Jonathan's sake. Anasema nataka kumuonyesha wema kwa sababu ya Jonathan. But when Ziba comes wakati Ziba anaja and he says Jonathan hath yet a son. Anasema Jonathan alikuwa na mwana. Don't talk of Saul. Usiongee kuhusu Saul. Jonathan has a son. Jonathan alikuwa na mwana. Even though he is lame. Hata kama ni kiwete. He says I need him. Anasema ninamhitaji. He is repeating, is there anybody anybody? Anauliza kuna mtu from the house of Saul kwa nyumba ya Sauli that I may show him the kindness of God ni muonyeshe wema wa kiungu not kindness my kindness sio wema wangu mimi not the kindness of man sio wema wa wanadamu the kindness of God lakini wema wa kiungu the covenant allow us to access God's kindness Maagano inatofanya tuweze kuwapatana na wema wa Mungu. And he begins na inaanza. When, when he's told that Jonathan has a son. Inaanza wakati anaambiwa Jonathan ana mwana. Of course, Ziba wants him to take his attention from Mephibosheth. 
Simba anataka achukue attention kutoka kwa Mephibosheth. Because he's saying Mephibosheth is lame. Anasema Mephibosheth ni mkiwete. Kindness does not look at your present condition. Kindness ama wema hauangalii hali yako ya sasa. It is kindness. Ni wema. The kindness of God. Wema wa kiungu. Is not moved by what you can offer. Haisukumi na kile unaweza peana. It, it is what God can offer. Ni kile Mungu anaweza peana. The kindness of God. Wema wa Mungu. So he is taking us from the natural anatutoa kwenye asili to the supernatural anatuingiza kwa kiungu so from today i want you to start expecting supernatural kindness nataka uanze kungojea wema wa kiungu things that you can't explain mambo ambayo hawezi ukayaelezea things that you don't deserve mambo ambayo haufai kuwa nayo but they are coming to you lakini anakuja kwako because of covenant kwa sababu ya agano I want to show him that I may show him the kindness of God. Nataka nimuonyeshe wema wa Mungu. Because God showed me kindness. Kwa sababu Mungu alinionyesha wema. He picked me up. Alinyanyua kutoka mahali. When I was looking after sheep. Wakati nilikuwa ninachunga kondoo. And he made me a king. Akanifanya niwe mfalme. Over Israel. Juu ya Waisraeli. Even his own people. Hata watu wake mwenyewe. He has given me a throne. Amenipatia kiti. While my lineage was not of the throne. Wakati uzao wangu haukuwa wa utawala. But he chose me. Lakini akaniteua. When Saul's army recruiters rejected me. Wakati wanajeshi wa Sauli walinidhalau. God still took me to the same battlefield. Bwana akaniweka katika uwanja wa vita. And he gave me the ability to defeat the enemy on his behalf. Na akanipatia uwezo wa kumshinda adui kwa niamba yake. That is God's kindness. Hiyo ndio wema wa Mungu. To sit on a throne that you don't deserve. Kukaa katika kiti ambacho haufai. To preach on a pulpit that you don't deserve. Kuhubilia watu ambao haufai kuwa na To serve in a place that you don't deserve. Kutumika kwa maeneo ambayo haujahitimu. This is I want to show him. Kindness is not spoken. Wema si wa kunena. It is show wema ni kudhihirisha it is demonstrated wema ni kudhihirisha so he says i want to demonstrate to him the kindness of god nataka kumuonyesha wema wa mungu i pray that god will demonstrate his kindness to Na, you naomba bwana atakuonyesha wema wake i am expectant i am a believer Ninangoja nina ugojevu mimi ni muaminio because kindness works with covenant kwa sababu wema unafanya kazi na agano in Joshua chapter number 2 Joshua sula yake ni ya pili we are Joshua chapter number 2 the spies have gone to spy the land the spies have gone to spy the land wameenda kupeleleza nchi two oh kwa wili the, the, and, and, and they meet Rehab na wakakutana na Rehab the prostitute ambaye alikuwa ni kahamba verse number 17 mstari wake wa 17 good things are happening mambo mazuri yanafanyika they are making oh no from 16 sorry 16 mstari wa 16 we get there he says and he said unto them get to the mountain lest the pursuers meet you and hide yourself there Three days and the pursuers returned and after that the pursuers may return until the pursuers return and afterward may ye go your way akasema ya kwamba nenda kule milimani na ukutane na wanaofuatiza ujifishe hapo siku tatu mpaka wanaofuatiza warudi He's, na wachukue jia yao. He is giving them direction. She is An, giving them direction. Anawapatia mwelekeo. Verse number 12. Mstari wa 12. She is telling them something that we must understand. Anawaambia jambo lazima uelewe. She saying verse number 12. Now therefore I pray you swear unto me by the Lord. Na sasa ni unawasihi mkili kwa jina la Bwana. Since I have shown you kindness. Kwa sababu nimewaonyesha wema. 
that you will also show kindness unto my father's house and give me a true token. Mtanipatanyesha nyumba yangu wema pia na munipe zawadi. Verse number 18. Mstari wa 18. 18, sorry for running. Behold when ye come into the land when we come into the land alipoingia watakapoingia kwenye nchi he says when we come into the land tutakapoingia kwenye nchi you shall bind this line of scarlet thread in the window mtafunga hii kamba nyekundu kwenye ukuta which you used to bring us down ambayo uliitumia kututeremsha chini and he says anasema Thou shalt bring thy father and thy mother and thy brethren and thy father's household home unto yourself. Namtaleta jamii yetu yote kwetu. They will be in the house. Wako katika nyumba. The red scarlet ile kamba nyekundu was a symbol of the blood. Ilikuwa ni alama ya ndamu. They were cutting a covenant. Walikuwa wanaingia kwa agano. The basic was I have shown you kindness. Ya kwamba nilikuonyesha wema. When you come show me kindness. Utakapokuja nionyeshe wema. The covenant has room for kindness. We, uh, agano iko na nafasi ya wema. But today, lakini leo, the enemy does not want us to expect kindness. Adui hataki tuonyeshane wema. The enemy is exalting. And uh, adui anajiinua. What witchcraft is doing? Anatuonyesha kile uchawi unafanya. Until we forget what the covenant has done. Paka tunasahau kile agano limefanya. So we don't expect anything from God. Hatutarajii chochote kutoka kwa Mungu. We don't expect kindness. Hatugojei wema. We expect wrath. Tunagojea asila. I will not be married on time. Sitagolewa kwa wakati. Because some people did this. Kwa sababu watu fulani walifanya. Because men said this. Kwa sababu watu walisema hayo. Because the land said this. Kwa sababu watu walisema hayo. Let us shift our focus. Wacha tubadilishe mtazamo. To the covenant of God. Kwa agano lake Mungu. And expect kindness na tungoje wema if you are a minister kama wewe ni mhuduma don't expect failure usingoje mwanguko expect the kindness of god gojea wema wake mungu when you walk into your marriage wakati unaingia katika ndoa expect the kindness of god gojea wema wake mungu because of the covenant kwa sababu ya agano that god cut with jesus ya kwamba ile mungu aliingia na yesu for our sake kwa sababu yetu so that blood hiyo damu speaks better things inanena mambo mema it wants to show us better things inataka kutuonyesha mambo mema it is waiting for us inatungojea sisi that it may show us ili tuonyeshe kindness wema Romans 8:19 Walumi 8:19 Because of the covenant kwa sababu ya agano the, the whole Romans 8:19 the expectation that for the honest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of god na ungojefu wa kila kiumbe unagojea udhihirisho wa mwana wa mungu why are they waiting for them kwa nini wanawagoja so that they can see ili waweze kuona the kindness of god wema wa mungu demonstrated in their lives ambayo imedhihirishwa kwa maisha yao that is why god boldly says diposa mungu ana kwa ujasiri anasema i have seen hakuna jicho limeona no ear has heard hakuna sikio limesikia no heart has perceived Hakuna mawazo imewaza. God has in store. Kile Bwana ako nacho. For those that love him. Kwa wale wanaompenda. There is a kindness. Hiyo ndio wema. That is in store. Ambayo imewekwa. For the recipients of the covenant. Kwa wale ambao ni waagano. You are a child of the covenant. Wewe ni mwana wa agano. It is a covenant that was enacted before you were born. Ni agano ililowekwa kabla uzaliwe. It doesn't matter what happened in between. Haujalishi ni nini ilifanyika hapo katikati. When your time has come. Wakati wako ulipofika. Because this is the appointed time. Kwa sababu huu ni wakati uliotendwa. When you are called for show. Wakati umeitwa. Then expect kindness. Basi gojea wema. Covenant demand. Agano linatarajia. That kindness must be shown. Ya kwamba wema lazima utende. To the recipients of the covenant. Kwa yule ambaye ni mpatanishi wa agano. 
We do ministry. Wakati mwingine tunafanya huduma. But we don't have expectation of good. Lakini hatuna matarajio ya Mungu. I have seen people think that if you are a preacher you are born to suffer. Nimeona wengine wako na mafikiria kwamba kama wewe ni mhubili umezaliwa utabiki. That devil is a liar. Shetani ni muongo. This is the best. He dio lile jema. Occupation. He dio kazi ambayo ni Calling. Mwito. Because we 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 work for God. Kwa sababu tunafanya kazi kwa Bwana. And God pays on time. Na Mungu hulipa kwa wakati. Our boss is never affected by the financial bill. Bosi yetu huwa hakui affected na gharama ya maisha. And the good thing is that he 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 calls you. Na jambo jema ni kwamba yeye kuita. He trains you. Anakufundisha. He employs you. Anakuajili. And he pays you. Na anakulipa. While he is working for you. Wakati anakufanyia kazi. He calls you his co-laborer. Anakuita mfanyikazi pamoja naye. I, I was telling my children. Nilikuwa naambia watangu. No matter what career you choose. Bila kujali ile kalia umechagua. Any inferior career that you will choose. Ile kalia ndogo utachagua. Please supplement it with this superior career. Tafadhali iunganishe ama uipeane kwa kazi hii kubwa. Because this is the best job. Kwa sababu hii ndio kazi iliyo jema. Because we know and we see God's kindness. Kwa sababu tunaona wema wa Mungu. God's kindness. Wema wa Mungu. Is not proven by the number of members you have. How the British we na washirika ulio nao. For a long time. Kwa muda mrefu. We have believed a lie tumeamini uongo that the more the members ya kwamba kwa wingi wa washirika the more the giving hivyo ndivyo utakavyopokea lakini hiyo ni uongo as long as you are serving god kama unamtumikia bwana he will provide for you yeye atapeana kwako the kindness of god wema wake mungu so don't work hard sio kufanya kazi kwa nguvu looking for members kutafuta dhawabu poaching members kuimba washirika looking for the rich kutafuta matajiri no hapana stay in the covenant kaa kwenye agano he will show you kindness atakuonyesha wema kindness that cannot be explained wema ambao hauwezi elezeka I grew up and I'm a man of God. Nilikuwa kama mtumishi wa Mungu. I grew up and I'm a man of God. Nilikuwa chini ya mtumishi wa Bwana. Who served well? Aliyetumika vizuri. For many years. Kwa miaka mingi. Our our membership did not exist 15 members. Ushirika wetu haukupita watu 15. When we had visitors wakati tulikuwa na wageni we were 15 tunafika 15 that man was comfortable in his skin lakini huyo mtumishi alitoshereka na hiyo jan alikuwa mwimbaji a good instrumentalist mtu alijua kucheza vyombo all his sons are eating through the guitar today in the kingdom of god ni wana tu wanakula kupitia kwa ngita katika ufalme he served alitumika i would go as a young evangelist i would go and do crusade we want our church to grow you know we uh, every weekend kila must we, be saved kila weekend tukienda tufanye uijilisti maana tunataka kanisa letu likue and we take people to church na tunapeleka watu kanisani he was never moved yeye hakusukumwa and he will be annoyed na angekasirika to find me this, this will shock you he will be annoyed to find me in church for two consecutive sundays na angeshangaa kunipata kanisani sunday bili zimefuatana he will say nixon stand nixon is mama and i will say evangelist nixon and i will stand and he will say what are you doing in church anamuliza ni nini ninafanya kanisani i say sir i've come to church sasa mwambia bwana nimekuja kanisani he say where were you last last sunday hiyo sunday imepita nilikuwa wapi i was here sir nilikuwa hapa say, are you not seeing that you are walking out of the will of god je hauoni kwamba unaondoka kwenye makusudi ya mungu you are an evangelist wewe ni mwijilisti you should go win souls ugeepa uende win mioyo i couldn't understand it si kumuelewa what pastor chases away a member 
pastor ambaye anaondosha washirika I am working hard that membership should grow so that when I sit with the peers I come from a church where we are 500 members strong. Ninatia bidii ili washirika waje ili nikisimama ninasema tuko na kanisa liko na washirika 500. In secret katika sili he will tell us yeye angetuambia that we are God has given me a mandate to raise five people. Mungu amenipatia uwezo wa kuinua watu tano. That is my work. Hiyo ndio kazi yangu. I am working on them. Na ninafanya hiyo kazi. And I never understood him. Na sikumuelewa. He went to be with the Lord many years ago around 15. Alienda pamoja na Bwana miaka imepita. 15 years ago. Alienda kwa Bwana miaka 15 iliyopita. Out of the five. Baka kutoka kwa watano that he was saying he was working on ambao alikuwa anawafanyia kazi who seem to have no future walioonekana kama hawana kesho one was the pastor of buruburu baptist pastor and the chairman you remember him mmoja alikuwa pastor wa pale buruburu the other one is bishop aisi you know him yule mwingine ni bishop aisi the other one is now in south sudan is in South Sudan. Yule mwingine yako South Sudan. Working with the Weekly Foundation translating the Bible into their dialects. Anafanya kazi ya kutafsiri wa Biblia. The other one is in Denmark serving God. Yule mwingine yako kule Denmark anatumikia Bwana. The list of them is making noise in Tasia this morning. Somewhere. Yule mdogo wao anapiga makelele hapa Tasia. The five that he was talking about. Wale watano alikuwa ananena kuhusu. He believed in something alifanya jambo showing kindness akituonyesha wema expect kindness gojea wema pia ministry should not kill you huduma isikuue the owner of the ministry had already died for it mwenye huduma aliifia don't die for it also usikufie huduma pressure should not kill you pressure isikuue He wants to show you kindness. Anataka kukuonyesha wewe. Not because of your hard work. Sio kwa sababu ya kazi yako jema. That does not mean you become lazy. Hiyo sio kusema uwe mzembe. Because of the covenant. Kwa sababu ya agano. You become a recipient of God's kindness. Uwe wa kupokea wema wa Mungu. All he demanded. Kile tu anatarajia. From Mephibosheth kutoka kwa Mephibosheth was to sit at the table ni kukaa kwenye meza We are in Genesis chapter 17 Yo amwanzo 17 verse number 1 mstari wa kwanza Now the Lord said Genesis 17 verse number 1 when Abraham was 99 years old wakati Abraham alikuwa 99 umri the Lord appeared to him Bwana akamtokea and said unto him akamwambia I am the almighty God mimi ndiye Mungu wako walk before me to attain is tembea nami be perfect na uwe msafi don't leave me walk before me tembea nami be perfect na uwe msafi then it says in verse 2 inasema mstari wa pili and i will make my covenant between me and you nami nitaweka agano katikati yangu na wewe and i will multiply thee exceedingly nami nitakunawilisha sana stay before him kaa kwake stay at the table continually endelea kukaa hapo oh we are in second samuel chapter number 9 tuko samueli wa pili sura ya tisa verse number 4 mstari wake ni wa 4 something is happening kitu inafanyika you're doing a good work aha the king said unto him where is he he akasema he is in ziba akasema kwa ziba he is he, he is he, no he is in the house of maki uh, in uh, over the son of amiel in lodiba ako kule kwa nyumba ya uh, kwenye mji wa lodiba he could not be shown kindness hange onyeshwa wema if he was in lodeba kama angeendelea kukaa lodeba you don't do your own things haufanyi mambo yako wewe mwenyewe and expect his kindness na ugojee wema wake there is a place kuna maeneo that the covenant demands that you be in ambapo agano inataka uwe verse 6 mstari wa 6 
king. Okay, now when Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, woo, the what? son of Saul, was summoned to David, he fell on his face and did reverence. And David said, Mephibosheth, and he answered, Behold thy servant. Behold my servant. Behold thy my servant. servant. Behold thy servant. So you don't come in as an equal. Haukuji kama mumetoshana. There are two facts in life Kuna mamba mawili kwa maisha. that will never change. Ambayo haitabadilika. Number one, Namba ya kwanza, there is a God. Kuna mungu. Number two, Namba ya pili, you are not that God. Wewe siyo huyo mungu. You are a servant Wewe ni mtumishi. of God Wabwana. for you to receive Kindness. Remember, you are a servant. Thy servant. Mtumishi. Do you want to be shown God's kindness? Je, unataka kuonyeshwa ema wa Mungu? Remain a servant. Endelea kukaa ukiwa mtumishi. Verse na, verse six, verse seven. Mstari wa saba condition for receiving the, the, the covenant. Kanuni za kupokea agano. David said unto him, number one, fear not. Fear Daudi not. Kamueleza, jabula kwanza, ushihofu. Fear not. Ushihofu. You will not fail in this thing. Fear not. Auta nguka kwa mambo haya, ushihofu. Don't fear. Ushihofu. Don't fear the finance bill. Ushihofu. finance bill. Actually, it is good to separate the sons of God from others. Ni vizuri kutenganisha wana wa Mungu na wengine. This is a time when God will do something. Hii ndio wakati Mungu atafanya jambo. When they are saying they are selling their cars I will give them your address. Wakati wanasema wanauza magari yao nitawapatia address yako. Because God is lifting up a standard for you. Kwa sababu ninajua Bwana anainua kiwango chako. I will surely show the kindness. Kweli nitakuonyesha wema. For the, the the, for Jonathan thy father's sake kwa sababu ya Jonathani baba yako and i will restore unto thee all the land of Saul thy father na nitakulegeshea nchi yote ya baba yenu Sauli what is the condition condition ni gani thou shalt eat bread at my table continually nawe utakula mkate kwenye meza yangu wakati wote in other words don't leave my table ni kama kusema usiondoke kwenye meza hii yangu i want to see you nataka niwe nakuona i want you to look at me nataka uwe unanitazama if you need anything kama unataka chochote don't ask people usidai kwa watu ask me niulize mimi how do I ask a king? Je, nitamuomba mfalme jamu namna gani? Having therefore beloved brethren received boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Kwa vile ni kwa vile wapendwa tumepokea ujasiri katika kuingia patakatifu kupitia ndamu. We can ask him Tunaweza Stay at the place of your calling. Ka katika maeneo ya mwito wako. Stay in salvation. Ka katika wokovu. This is where God wants to show you kindness. Hapa dio Bwana anataka kukuonyesha wema. Don't backslide. Usi backslide. Don't seek for other gods. Usikae kwa miungu mingine. Don't stay in Lodeba. Usikae kule Lodiba. Stay where he wants you to be. Kama mahali anataka wewe ukae. He wants to show you kindness. Anataka kukuonyesha wema. Where other people are watching. Mahali wengine wanatazama. Psalms 23 verse number 5. Stali uh, sa, uh, Sabuli 23 mstari wa 5. Thou preparest a table before me. Wewe unaandaa meza mbele yangu. In the presence of my enemies. Katika uwepo wa maadui zangu. Thou anointest my head with oil. Wewe unapaka kichwa changu na mafuta. My cup runneth over. Nacho kikombe changu chatililika. The cup is on the table. Kikombe kiju ya meza. 
It doesn't matter who else is there. Haijalishi nani mwingine yuko pale. Stay at my table. Lakini keti kwenye meza. I want to show you kindness. Nataka ni kuonyeshe wema. It is our season. Ni kipindi chetu of kindness. Ya wema. No man hakuna mwanadamu will pride in what God will do for you. Ambaye anaelewa kile Bwana amtafanya juu yake. No man will take glory. Hakuna mwanadamu atachukua utukufu. It must be the doing of the covenant. Lazima iwe ni matendo ya agano. A friend of mine was bankrupt in 2021. Lafiki yangu alifilisika 19 2021 alifilisika a good lady born again loving god um dada mzuri ameokoka na anapenda mungu a politician na ni mwanasiasa campaigned in 2017 no in 2013 and lost miserably alijaribu 2013 na akapoteza vibaya sana 2017 she didn't even have money to campaign 2017 hakuwa na pesa ya kufanya siasa by 2021 she was bankrupt 2021 alikuwa nail and went back to her mother's home akarudi kwa uh, kwa mama yake that december hiyo december there was a family gathering for the first time kulikuwa na mkusanyiko la familia kwa mara ya kwanza agenda 1 agenda ya kwanza ha yeye yeah, yeah. number 2 ya pili ha ya yeah, yeah. number 3 ya tatu ha yeye yeah, yeah. they chased her out of her mother's home wakamtolosha kutoka kwa nyumba ya mama yake They say you can't have squandered your money and come now to squander our mother's money. Hawezi kuwa ulitumia mapesa yako vibaya alafu uje utumie pesa ya mama yetu. Born again. Na ameokoka. Serving God. Anatumikia Bwana. But things were not just joining. The dots were not just joining yet. Lakini mambo haikuwa inaenda sawa kwake. When she left the mother's home. Alipoondoka kwa nyumba ya mama yake she shared with a friend akashirikisha rafiki yake who told her aliyemwambia do worry you can all, you can still make it in god ah usijali bado utafaulu he said don't cry akasema usilie i can pay for you rent for one month and deposit nitakulipia rent ya mwezi mmoja na deposit after that you will catch up baada ya hiyo utaendelea sometimes you need such voices unahitaji sauti kama hiyo That was January 2022. Hiyo ilikuwa January 2022. T22 March 2022. Somebody proposed to her. Mtu akamuunduliza. Bankrupt. Ambaye alikuwa ni bankrupt. He, she was bankrupt. Ambaye alifilisika. But not bankrupt of love. Lakini hakuwa bankrupt ya upendo. Hakufilisika upendo. The man loved her when she had nothing. Mwanamume alimpenda kama hana chochote. You even wonder where they are going to take the dowry. Hata unashidwa dawali watapeleka wapi? Watatoa. They've chased you. They've chased you. Wamekufukuza. When it is your season, it is your season. Lakini ikiwa ni kipindi yako ni majira yako. Around June. Uh, around June. She told the man, you know, politics had bigger uh, was was now uh, Kenyan politics. She told the man, by the way there is a part of me that I never told you. Akamwambia unajua kuna sehemu yangu sijawahi kueleza. There's something about me and politics. Kuna kitu na mimi na siasa. When I hear politics something happens. Nikisikia siasa kitu hufanyika ndani yangu. And the man said no 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 me I don't like politics. Akasema hapana mimi sipendi siasa. Me I'm a man of the pulpit. Mimi ni mtu wa madhabahu. He said no problem. Akasema hakuna shida. I can balance. Nita balance. June, July. July she defected from her party to another party. Akatoka kwa ile chama akaenda chama nyingine. But she didn't have money to campaign. Ak- she didn't have money. Hakuwa na pesa ya kufanya siasa. So she was campaigning for the candidates. Alikuwa tu ana campaign kwa, kwa yule alikuwa anashindana. August came. August ikaja. Her party won. Chama chake kika win. Of course she was on the list of nomination. Alikuwa kwa list ya wale watateuliwa. But you know that is where things happen. Na hivyo ndivyo mambo ilifanyika. The last day siku ya mwisho around 6:30 around 6:30 I receive a call nikapokea simu and I call her yes mheshimiwa Kasema ndio mheshimiwa and she says pastor it has happened I say what has happened he says I've been nominated I say how do you know it is in the Kenya gazette 
akauliza pasta akasema pasta nimeteuliwa akauliza umejuaje iko kwa Kenya Gazette I say hallelujah hallelujah I say pasta i cannot talk for any more minutes pasta siwezi ongea dakika zingine i have been told to 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 i mean to shut down my phone nimeambiwa ni zime simu yangu we are being taken somewhere tunapelekwa mahali because on monday we are voting for the speaker kwa sababu monday tuna vote kwa speaker say then cut it off and go congratulations kasema kata na uende congratulations on monday monday she was a member of the county assembly alikuwa mmoja wa member wa county assembly bungoma kule bungoma who is laughing now yule anaisheka sasa in january january they chased her away walimfukuza september september so help me god bwana nisaidie success has many relatives victory ama ushindi uko na malaylatif wengi in april april she got married akaolewa 2023 2023 who took the dowry nani alipeleka mahali leave our home you bankrupt yule aliyefilisika she took the dowry there akapeleka mahali pale when god has decided to show you kindness wakati bwana ameamua kukuonyesha wewe it doesn't matter what happened to you in january haijalishi kilichofanyika kwako january it doesn't matter what has happened haijalishi kile kishafanyika he did not ask me fibosheth hakumdai me fibosheth what happened to your legs nini lifanyika kwa miguu yako those are inconsequential hizo ni mambo tu he told him sit at my table alimwambia keti kwenye meza yangu kindness demands that when i see you then i can do it wema una una, una gharama nikikuona nitafanya this is a place of your assignment hii ndio maeneo ya jukumu yako sit at my table kaa kwenye meza yangu i will show you the kindness of god nitakuonyesha wema wake mungu i've not finished my testimony sijamaliza ushuhuda wangu She got married at 54. Aliolewa na miaka 54. That is kindness. Hiyo ni wema. Such things don't happen in Kenya. Mambo kama hayo haifanyiki Kenya. They only happen in the kingdom of God. Yanafanyika tu kwa ufalme wa Bwana. Where we are permanent residents. Mahali sisi ni wakaaji kamili. That I may show you kindness. Takuonyesha wema. In less than one year. Kwa mwaka mmoja from bankrupt to rich kutoka kwa uh, kumaskini mpaka kwa ordinary tajiri. to honorable mtu wa, wa kawaida kwa kuwa mheshimiwa single single to married kwa aliyeolewa i believe she will get a child ninaamini kwamba atajifungua i believe ninaamini atajifungua i believe ninaamini because god has said i will show you kindness kwa sababu bwana amesema nitakuonyesha wema kindness is what happens and makes men wonder wema ni kile kinafanyika na kinafanya watu wachangae at 54 miaka 54 ah hai sara abraham had not even proposed to sara at 54 hata miaka 54 abraham hako amemuuliza sara kindness <laughs> wema it can still happen inaweza bado fanyika it is never too late haijashelewa it doesn't matter how long it took haijalishi imeshikua muda mgani sit at my table kaa kwenye meza yangu that i may show you nami nikuonyeshe the kindness of god wema wake mungu kindness wema wa mungu is what you don't expect ni kile hautalaji sometimes wakati mwingine it will make you suspect which god you are worshiping itakufanya ushangae ni mungu mgani huyu unayemwabudu a friend of mine is in a destitute position lafiki mmoja wangu wako kwa nafasi ya maana destitute she doesn't know what to do au oh, ako kwa nafasi ambayo haelewi la kufanya things are not working mambo haifanyi besides that she has to downgrade the school of the children she decides to downgrade the school of the children akaamua kuwapeleka watoto wake kishule ambayo ana nia chini and we pray about it tukaiombea and as she is walking to look for a school alipokuwa anatembea kutafuta shule 
a vehicle stops by her side gari kasimama nyuma yake the brother brother asking her akamuuliza what are you doing here unafanya nini hapa in this estate katika hii estate unafanya nini she says i'm going to look for a school that is a grade lower for my children ninaenda kutafuta shule ambayo ni ya kiwango ambacho ni cha ni cha chini the brother says get into my car kamwambia ingia kwa gari yangu and takes her home and takes her home na kampeleka nyumbani mkwake he says what is wrong with the other school akamuuliza ni shida ni nini na ile shule nyingine he says the school fees is high kasema school fees iko juu he says go get me the forms enda niuniletee hizo forms i am taking child number 3 as my own ninachukua mtoto wa namba 3 kama wangu at that school kwa hiyo shule and that's what happened hivyo ndivyo kulifanyika still not believing bado hajaamini the elder one goes to school yule mkubwa anaenda shule no is supposed to join secondary anafaa kuingia shule eh, secondary doesn't know what is happening ajui ni nini nafanyika called into a school that she didn't like akamtafutia shule ambaye haku anapenda wondering what do i do with this akauliza nitafanya nini na hii looks for a school to change anatafuta shule ya kubadilisha and couldn't get one na hangepata moja somebody calls mtu anamuita and says call this school anamuita piga piga simu kwa hii shule doesn't get hapati frustrated anakuwa frustrated then somebody says look for any school mtu anamwambia tafuta shule yoyote ile and somebody calls to a private calls from a private school na mtu anapiga kutoka kwa shule ya kibinafsi no, high cost school eh, shule nzuri high cost <laughs> shule iliyo na gharama ya juu and she laughs about it na anacheka he says if that one was a problem what about this one anamuule sema kama ile ilikuwa shinda je na hii nayo and the other person calls and says any school any letter yule anasema shule yoyote na barua yoyote ile and laughs and says somebody is asking me to take her to this high school school high high high, high cost school kuna mtu ananiuliza nimpeleke hii shule ya pesa nyingi he says how much anauliza pesa ngapi says only 60 per term ni 60 per term he says bring it over send me those things anasema nitumie hizo vitu and the old school fees for the whole year is paid for na eh, kalo yote ya shule ya mwaka mzima inalipwa and every other cost na gharama nyingine zote ile he was told only take care of the pocket money wewe jali tu pesa ya mfuko this is kindness hii ndio wema I like the way you are not clapping because you are not believing. Nataka vile ampigi makofi kwa sababu hamuamini. I am not telling you testimonies of 15 years ago. Siwapatii ushuhuda wa miaka 15. They are as fresh as this year. Ziko safi ni za wakati huu. That I may show you the kindness of God. Ni waonyeshe wema wake Mungu. It works in both ways. Imefanya inafanya kwa mambo yote person said i am taking charge yule aliyesema ninachujukumika this is my child now huu ni mtoto wangu sasa may your testimony be next ushuhuda wako uwe ndio utakotokea the kindness of god wema wa mungu is shown to men inaonyeshwa kwa wanadamu there's a friend of mine that we are working with she is a former muslim she came to the lord so we been mentoring the person kuna rafiki yangu tunatembea na yeye alikuwa muislamu sasa ninamukuza yeah it's a long journey ni safari mrefu but god is giving us victory lakini bwana anatupatia ushindi things upon things upon things but we thank god mambo juu ya mambo lakini tunashukuru bwana and god has been coming through na mungu amekuwa akijihirisha of course it is it is a battle ni vita things began to unfold lakini mambo yanaanza kujifunua recently juzi while we were having our fellowship on phone wakati tulikuwa na ushirika katika simu we have never met hatujawahi kutana but we are somewhere lakini tuko mahali so when we are having our fellowship on phone wakati tulikuwa na ushirika kwa simu begins by saying man of god before you say anything today 
akasema mtumishi wa Bwana kabla useme chochote kwa Today I'm not complaining. Leo si I am beginning with my first testimony. Nimeanza na ushuhuda wangu. My mother suddenly got born again. Ya kwamba mama yangu king ghafla ameokoka. So I ask, how? Kauliza na bipi? Says I don't know. Sema sijui. My mother woke up happier. Lakini mama yangu akaliamka tu. Very happy. Akiwa na fulaha did her things akafanya mambo yake when everybody had left the house wakati kila mtu alikuwa ameondoka kwenye nyumba she called me akanita and said akasema on sunday sunday don't leave me usiniache when you are going to church utakapokuwa unaenda kanisani shocked how ikamulika ikamshtua vipi said akasema last night usiku you are Jesus. Yesu wako came to me. Alinijia. And I am born again. Na sasa nimeokoka. Without a preacher. Bila kuwa na muhubili. You, you don't understand. Unaelewa? Where you come from getting saved is normal is that so? Mahali umetoka kuokoka ni kawaida. The other side it is a matter of life and death. Lakini upande mwingine ni kifo na mauti. Homes where preachers have never been allowed. Mahali preachers have never been wahubiri hawajawahi ruhusiwa Jesus walks in himself Yesu anaingia yeye mwenyewe It is called the kindness of God Inaitwa wema wake Mungu That is saving our own people ambayo inafungua watu wetu I don't know what you are believing God for Sijui ni nini unamwaminia Bwana Or what you don't know you expect you need or what you don't know you need ama kile haukijui na unahitaji but the kindness of god lakini wema wake mungu will be shown to you utaonyeshwa kwako that i may show you the kindness of god ni kuonyeshe wema wake for the sake of the covenant kwa sababu ya agano kindness weka uh, wema the kindness of man can be spoken wema wa wanadamu unaweza ongelewa the kindness of god is shown lakini wema wa mungu unaonyeshwa agree with a good preacher nilikuwa nakiwa chini ya mhubiri mzuri i wish the man of god from uganda was here but we thank god <laughs> amen uh, i was warned that when i go to preach i should not go to one country nilipewa onyo ya kwamba nikianza kuhubiri ama nikienda kuhubiri nisiende nchi fulani if i go there i should carry my return ticket nikienda pale ni bebe tikiti yangu ya kurudi and i should carry my bed and mattress you know what i mean na ni bebe kitanda changu na na godoro yangu and food na chakula yangu and for a long time na kwa muda mrefu I believed in the lie of the sons of Belial nilikaa na uongo huo until one day I said no paka siku moja nikasema angalia he says ask of me and I'll give you the nations as your inheritance amen eh? ask of me and I will give you the nations that is chapter number 2 I think verse number 8 I'll give you the nations as an inheritance for and it nami nitakupatia mataifa and I began to pray I say God open the doors any door that I shut because of ignorance and fear uh, I speak it open in Jesus name Nikaanza kuomba ya kwamba kila mlango ambao nimeufunga kwa sababu ya kupuuza ufungue kwa jina la Yesu And I got an invite Na akapata mwaliko uh, I don't know why you are changing Yo, when it is a crazy testimony you are saying akapata when it is a good one nikafanya I am understanding you pastor Yes nikapata yeah, mwaliko thank you. He's my good friend, don't worry. <laughs> and when I landed at the airport, wakati nilifika airport, my mind was still in factory setting. Mawazo yangu bado ilikuwa pale kwa kwa People will reject me. Watu watanikataa. So I'm received at the airport. Nikafikika pale kwa airport. And I'm wondering, wow. And, and they give me a bouquet of flowers. Watu wakani wakani pokelea wakani patia maua. I'm shocked. Nina shituka. They take me to a hotel. Wakani peleka kwa hoteli. And they tell me it is full board. Wakani biya ya kuamba imeli poa. Everything. All you need to do is sign. 
kile tu unafaa kufanya ni kuweka sahihi and i'm told man of god kaambiwa mtumishi wa bwana there is sauna kuna sauna jacuzzi kuna jacuzzi massage pala kuna massage pala swimming pool kuna swimming pool all you need to do is sign kile unahitaji kufanya ni kuweka sahihi i'm like wow kasema haya but i remember i should be careful nikakumbuka lazima niwe so i'm not doing sana. anything none of those things none of the above none of the above I am not going to the restaurant. I am not doing anything. I'm not going to the I'm born again. I'm a Kenyan born again preacher going to heaven. No massage, no sauna, no swimming. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Heaven <laughs> Thank you. When I go for the meeting before when it was my time, wakati ilikuwa ni nafasi yangu, then a convoy of seven cars come to pick me. Nikaona konvoi ya magari saba imekuja kuni, imenijia. So I'm wondering who is being picked. Ninauliza ni nani huyu anakujiwa. Then they come smiling at me. Wakaja wakisheka kwangu. They say man of God. Nasema mtumishi wa Bwana. We have come for you. Tumekukujia. So I'm shocked. Ninashtuka. But I don't want to show them. Lakini siwataki kuwaonyesha. Oh good good baba ema. <laughs> never where I can never. Hey. Hey. So I get into the car and I'm not enjoying my journey because I'm wondering is this real? Sifurahi ile safari kwa sababu ninajiuliza je ni ukweli? And I get into I'm received again. Nimepokelewa tena. I'm taken to the pastor's office. Nikapelekwa kwa ofisi ya mchungaji. And we are having our talk. Na tuko na maongeo. The pastor says thank you for coming at a 3000 seat church that time. Ni kanisa ya watu kama 3000. So the pastor says welcome Pastor anasema karibu. We are so grateful that you came. Tuko tunashukuru sana umekuja. Hope you have enjoyed yourself. Najua umefurahia. How is your wife? Je, mke wako wako namna gani? She is well. Nasema ako sawa. Have you talked to your wife? Je, umeongea na mke wako? I said yes, I told her I've landed. Nikamwambia yeye niliongea naye. He says no, you need to tell her more. Unahitaji kumwongeresha zaidi. Then she goes to the drawer. Anaingia kwa drawer and removes an envelope. Anatoa kibafurushi and says buy credit. Ananiambia nunua credit. Call your wife. Ongea na mke wako. I say I have credit. Namwambia niko na credit. He said no, just buy more. Call your wife. Anasema hapana, wewe chukua itsa nyingine. So I take it. Nikachukua. I put it in my pocket. Nikaweka kwa mfuko. And I preach. Na nikahubili. After that I go to the hotel room. Baada hiyo nikaenda kwa hoteli. After I have, have taken my dinner. Nikachukua nikapokea uh, chakula changu cha jioni. I close the door like a Kenyan. Nikafunga mlango kama wa Kenya. And confirmed that it is shut. Na nikaamini ya kwamba imefungwa. I poured the envelope on the table. Nikaweka bahasha kwa meza kwa, kwa, kwa kitanda. When I counted it, nikahesabu. It was only 15,000 Kenya shillings. Ilikuwa 15,000. To call my wife. Nikapigia mke wangu. I said it is good to be married. Kamwambia ni vizuri kuwa nimeoa the next day the siku ya pili when i'm waiting for them to pick me wakati ninawagojea wanijie different vehicles came magari tofauti ikaja i went to the office nikaingia kwa ofisi when i have my time with the man of god nikawa na wakati wangu na mtumishi man of god kaniambia mtumishi i hope you talk to your wife last night and ninaamini uliongea na mke wako jana say yes kama sema ndio i have niliongea says call your wife akanipatia ingine another envelope kanipatia bahasha ingine ongea na mke wako. The other credit is still Kasema ile credit ya jana bado iko. Listen, no, call your wife. Sema hapana mpigie simu. When I put it in my pocket, nilipoiweka kwa mfuko wangu. I can sense that the density is higher than the thank you. Thank you. Ni, Nikaelewa ya kwamba hii bahasha ina uzito kuliko ile nyingine. So I am preaching but I'm anxious. Like, Ninahubili lakini ninataka kuangalia. After everything, baada ya kila kitu. When I counted walipo hesabu it was only 20000 ilikuwa 1200 so then my mind is now getting born again sasa mawazo yangu inaanza kuokoka this is not a trap nasema hii haikuwa mtego this must be kindness hii lazima iwe ni wema so the next day when i am living wakati siku ya pili ninapoondoka now the third day siku ya tatu i begin to pray a different prayer nikaanza kuomba obi tofauti Thank you Lord. Asante bwana. For what is happening to me. Kwa kile kinafanyika kwangu. 
and when I'm in the office, wakati niko kwa ofisi, I am expecting the pastor to ask me, how is your wife? So I already have an answer. Thank you. Ninagojea ataniuliza bibi yako ako namna gani? Sasa nitampatia jawabu. And 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 I'm looking at her expecting the hand to go, thank you, because now the expectation is thank you very much for hearing me. and uh, and says, call your wife and I say, I will call my wife. Now I'm not complaining. I will call my wife. When I get back, Niliporudi. it was only 25,000. So I'm understanding that there is to the power of five that is working. Ya kuna uwezo wa tano unafanya kazi. The last day I'm going to preach. Ile siku ya mwisho naenda kuhubiri. Have you ever prayed that the pastor can hear God tell him, my servant, extend the meeting for 13 more days. Have you ever prayed? Okay, thank you. So that the power of five can keep on accelerating. This is, this is kindness. Thank you. So I preached the last day. Of course, I'm given an envelope. Go call your wife. That day after preaching, I'm told I know your flight is tomorrow. I say yes. I say good. Dio, I san. will come to see you before you leave. I say I hope you are enjoying the sauna. I say I will enjoy the sauna. Kasema, nita enjoy, nita sauna. When I go to the room, it is only thirty thousand. That's when I ask, where is the Nikauliza sauna iko wapi? Where is the jacuzzi? Jacuzzi iko wapi? Waiting for my flight at the next day in the evening. Na ninangojea uh, flight yangu kesho. In the morning, asubuhi, a group of around 5 come. Kukundi ya watu tano inakuja. And they say we have been sent to take you for shopping. Wanasema tumetumwa tukupeleke kwa nduka. I say no problem, let's go. Kasema hakuna shida twende. After all I have what I have. And as we are passing, tunapita, we pass a market that is familiar to one of the greatest markets in Kenya. Tukapata soko ambayo ni familia ama inajulikana ama inafanana na soko moja Kenya. You, you know the bend down boutique. Unajua ile bend down boutique. Aha. You know it. Aha. Yes. So we are passing, and I'm saying, why don't we stop? Because where I come from. That is our show. Okay, thank you. And and we pass. Kwa nini tusiingie hapa maana kule kwetu nimetoka sisi tunaendaga unajipima. But I'm not saying anything. Lakini siongei kitu. So I'm taken to a mall. Hivyo ninapelekwa kwa mall. And as we are walking in, na tunapoingia, I look at the price. Ninaangalia mbei. I calculate. Ninafanya mahesabu. I convert. Nina convert. And the suit is 57,000. And they ask me, do you like it? I, I say, no. <laughs> it is not that I don't like it. It is the price. So I say, I didn't like everything. I didn't like everything. Then they read my mind. And they say, take this. I said, yes, I looked. I was not looking at the material, I was looking at the price. I said, this one is okay. Because I can buy with the profile. Then they take another one. And somebody was led by God to deliver me. He said, man of God, relax. The pastor has sent us Mtumishi ametutuma with a card na card for your shopping for your shopping relax kasheka when i had the card waliposikia card the 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 in me arose dani yangu kukainuka where i come from arose kule nimetoka kukainuka there is always kindness Kuna wema that the covenant brings. Ambayo agano inaleta. Don't give up, my friend. Usikate tama. Pastor, don't give up. Pastor, usikate tama. Membership may oscillate 15 and 10, but don't give up. Washirika wanawesa kuwa kumi, kumi na tano, usikate tama. Stay at the table. Kaha kwenye meza. God wants to show you his kindness. Wana anataka kukuonyesha wema wako. It is my prayer. 
that each one of you in whatever capacity you are in whatever role you play in the body of Christ that you will walk before God and you will be perfect that you will sit at the table that you may be shown the kindness of God may you receive the kindness of God in your ministry in your family in your business in your work may the kindness of God be your portion may people see the result of the covenant the next testimony testimony appeal must come from you. We will testify in the congregation of the righteous. May God show you kindness. If somebody calls you, don't suspect it is the kindness of God. When they bless you stupendously, like they are about to do, it is the kindness of God. May kindness work for you. May it be upon your children. May it be upon your families. May the hard cases become possible. Because of the kindness of God. In the name of Jesus. Receive the kindness of God. In Jesus name. Stay in the covenant. I love you all. Now Penda. Stay in the covenant. Shall we give God praise? Hallelujah. 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 To Simame, praise him. Chap chap. Praise him. Praise him. Kindness of God. Yani to tembe na kibari favor 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 haibahatishi sikiza vizuri sana ukitembea na kibali cha Mungu God's kindness you don't guess dhimu ya mwaka huu ni no more guesswork Haubahatishi kama umebarikiwa ama umelaaniwa. Kuna watu saa hii hawajui ni laana, ni mapito, ni making ya Mungu. Hello, ni maisha ni hali ya maisha haya dunia hii. They don't know. Hebu by the way jiulize. Kote kila umepitia na kila unapitia. Ni laana, ni kurogwa ni Mungu anakuunda ama ni process ya Mungu ni hali ya maisha haya maana hii maisha haya pia ni ina maisha yake ni uvivu hello hizi vitu jiulize wacha kuacha kuambiwa kila kitu ni uvivu hello ni kukosa kibali ni madhabahu ni ujinga unajua nilisoma kwa mstari proverbs 10 i think 19 verse 2 kanishangaza so ni vizuri that is why it's good to be here from god wacha kusikia sana kutoka dunia utachanganyikiwa inasema 19 verse 2 Anyway, inasema aha. Eh, unajua kila mtu na Biblia yake. Niliona apostle apostle Juma yeye ni ya King Juin gani amplified. Na isido ni ya New King James. Apostle ni wa King James. Mimi wanajua yangu. Translation yangu mnaijua. So mkiniwekea hii dhao dha shai. Sasa hiyo ni ya wenyewe. <laughs> So na kila mtu by the way inasema na yule yako pale hayuko serious kabisa kabisa 
Because, yes, desire without knowledge is not good. How much more will he still? Uh -huh. Verse 3, you know, Nish Tuanga Sana. Verse 3, Uwa inasema, a man's own folly. Ujinga wa mtu, unamuangamiza. Yet, their hearts rages against the Lord. Lakini, anakasirikia mungu, ujinga wa mtu. So, ni vizuri unajiuliza. Hii maswali yote, roho wa mungu wa kusaidia uwe na jibu. Usiwa kuchanganyo, maru narushwa huku, nilana. Mau narushwa huku, ni madhabahu, bomoa, jenga nyingine. Ni vizuri, usi, usi, usi rushwa kama mpira. Mara hiyo ikikata, sijui, sijui ni nyota imepotea. Saa, rudisha. Haya, unarudisha. Alafu, it, eh, ni vizuri kitu hata wewe uziwe mtu wa kutembea kama mjinga. Halo, kabla urudisha nyota. Eh? Sasa tena umerogwa. Sasa unaua wachawi. Uwa mchawi. Eh, hey, rusha, rusha, rusha. Uwa choma, choma. Sasa, okay, amekufa na shida haijaisha. Sasa unashidwa tena ni nini? Tena unajaribu nini? Mundia, mundia anajua hii kitu sana. <laughs> Sasa, hizi vitu zote siwe uko kama mpira. Rest itafika lini. Because mungu wa metuitia rest. Rest. Yukijua ya kwamba you are under the covenant through Jesus. Uko na agano na mungu upitia nani? Damu ya Yesu. Praise the Lord. May the kindness of God follow you. Praise him. Na msikiza vizuri. To praise Mungu, praise for 10 minutes. <laughs>